All right. Awesome. Well, welcome to entre uh, Business Entrepreneurship and Free Enterprise. This is a, a great little thing that I, I'm getting started here. And, and really the goal of, of all of the things that I'm going to be doing both uh, in the Facebook group, as well as on some other social media channels like Instagram and um, and on YouTube. Really our goal here is just to, to educate the high school business student, that business minded student who wants to study business in college, just educate them about all of the different opportunities that they have when they take their education to the next level. Uh, so we're going to be talking to a lot of a lot of different high school students and probably some parents. This, this should be relevant to to parents of high school students as well. And and our goal is really just to edu educate you. And uh, you know we're fortunate. Uh, I work for Northwood University, and uh, Professor Hop is a professor at Northwood. So um, we are a business only university. So um, we're going to have some great opportunities to be able to to educate students, but this is going to be re relevant to students who um, maybe, you know, aren't thinking about coming to Michigan for um, for studying. And even if you're uh, thinking about going to another school, it'll really help you evaluate what is going to be the next best step in your education. And uh, Professor Hopp, thank you so much for uh, for coming on this video with me today. You're welcome. And, Happy to be here. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, and the topic we want to talk about is um, is really studying entrepreneurship as a major or possibly a minor uh, when yeah. you get to college. Yeah. So, so really focusing in on, on this major today. Um, before we jump into the major, can you just give a little bit of your background um, in business and also at the university level? Absolutely, and uh, hopefully this won't take too long. But I've I've done a few different things, and and right. they're all important to talk about because they all come into play with how I teach. So uh, I got my. Um, a BA in accounting with a minor in uh, economics from Hope College, way back in 1986. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little older than some of your audience, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I went and worked for a 50 year old second generation family business called Billmar Foods. Um, we were in the turkey business. Uh, we took them all the way from the farm to the table, and uh, it was a, in excess of 300 million dollar company. It was a good sized business. And in 1987, we were bought by an $11 billion company. Okay. And being an accountant in a business that is being bought by an $11 billion company was quite interesting, quite eye-opening to see a family-run business and then change to a, being part of a big corporate structure. Um, I really wanted to get into banking and I had the opportunity in 1988 to go to Comerica Bank. Uh, at that time, Comerica was one of the top 20 banks in the country, one of the top, tops in Michigan. They since moved their headquarters to Texas, but um, uh, I worked in uh, Michigan, Texas, and California, eventually working my way up to being vice president of corporate banking. And it was in that role that I really got into entrepreneurship because I was working with all these incredible entrepreneurs who had started businesses and started ideas. And uh, I was funding them, uh, but I was learning about all these businesses. And I was just amazed by these people. Um, I took that, uh, working with them uh, a step further, and I decided to go get my MBA. Um, number one, I figured it would increase my ability to move up at the bank, but number two, I wanted to increase my skill set. Well, I went to Northwood University's DeVos Graduate School, got my MBA from 98 to 2001 through their executive MBA program, and that kind of opened my eyes up to new opportunities. In 2002, I left the bank after 13 years, and I went to work for one of my customers. Packaging Direct, which was a thermoforming plastic company who made plastic packaging for the produce and uh, and um, uh, veggie. Uh, I'm sorry, fruit fruit and produce industry. Um, I was a minority owner and the chief financial officer, and it was quite a change to go from a top 20 bank to this little fairly. I actually funded them as a startup, watched them grow, and then became part of it. And um, I absolutely loved it. I loved walking the floor. I loved getting to know the employees. I, I loved, I ran all the sales and human resources and, and finances for that business. Um, three years later, uh, a company came along and made us an offer we couldn't refuse. Yep, still on the line from one of my favorite movies. And uh, we sold the business. Um, they gave the founder and I five-year contracts and I lasted almost two years before they did something to me that I had never had happen to me. I was fired. March uh, 17, 2007, one of the best days of my business career. And that okay. may sound funny, but getting fired was great because 
Uh, we went from being an entrepreneurial company to being a, a managerial company. It was no longer as much fun. And I was looking for new opportunities. Um, got a severance package and opportunities uh, came about because of relationships that I had created over the years. Um, I went in with three business uh, partners and we bought a medical bill review company. I didn't even know a medical bill review company existed before this. Um, I learned a ton about the, uh, bi the business. Um, we came in, we made changes, we put people in the right spot and we, we gave people access to um, computers and equipment they needed to do their job well. And we uh, ran that business. I was president and part owner of that business from 2007 to 2015. In the meantime, 2009, um, we had such a good staff, I didn't need to be there full time. And an opportunity came up at Northwood University to become chair of the entrepreneurship program. And it was just too good of a fit uh, for me. I had been an adjunct professor in 99, 2006, seven and eight. Um, I got the teaching bug sort of bit me and I had the opportunity to work part-time at, at the business and full-time in entrepreneurship. And so in 2009, I came on as, as an entrepreneurship chair and I've been doing that now for the last 11 years full-time. That's great. Yeah, no, thank you for sharing your story with us. That's So it sounds like you have a wide variety of experience, both yeah. kind of, and, and I wanna talk about this a little bit later, as an entrepreneur, somebody who works yes. within a company and who really works to grow that company, but then also on the entrepreneur where you're actually, you have ownership in the company. Absolutely. Um, and so and we, we can kind of touch on that later, but go ahead. I've been in manufacturing and I've been in service. And I really yeah. think that's important because they're different. But at the, at the end of the day, I like to tell people, if you build a skill set, your skill set can be applicable to service, to, to manufacturing, to whatever you want it to be. Um, and so it's, it's all about building the skill set and then you can apply that skill set almost anywhere. And I think that's maybe the most important thing I want people to take away today. Business is a big term and there's lots of things within business, but it's about building the skill set and making yourself um, open and available to learning new things so that you can go do lots of different things if you want to. Awesome, so yeah, we're definitely gonna touch on some of those skill sets that you like to teach, but it sounds like in your classroom with your experience, you're not just teaching out of a textbook, you're not oh. just teaching theory. <laughs> but you're actually teaching practical knowledge from yeah. your own experience. Yeah, and, and I'll say this in general for Northwood because this is true of Northwood. Um, we, we have over 20 different majors and, and, and the department chairs and the majors all have industry experience. It's a prerequisite. Um, we want people to, to be able to take theory and apply it. Uh, in my opinion, if you can't take theory and apply it, then you just don't have as much value as you need to have, right? So my students would tell you, they hear my stories over and over, and sometimes it's a repeat, but they know that my stories from Med Audit or my stories from Packaging Direct or my stories as a banker, or even all the way back to Bilmar Foods, all have a reason. And they all tie back to the material I'm talking about because if you can't apply theory in, pract in practical manner, then what good is theory? And so at the end of the day, it's this is what happened. This is how I applied it. This is what I learned from it. This is what you can learn from it. Now, my experiences are different than others, but you know, they're helpful. So yeah, if I didn't have the ability to share my stories, uh, I, I think my classes would be boring, but instead I think they're, they can be kind of fun. Good, awesome. So I, wanna, I definitely wanna get back to some of those skill sets and, and kind of what the students are gonna be learning in the classroom. But before that, I wanna ask you a question that I wanna ask to everybody that I interview on here. And I know it's something from our previous conversations that we both believe very strongly in. And it's this idea of free enterprise. You know, at, when I was a high school student, I kind of feel like I probably would have understood what it meant, but like, can you give us what free enterprise is to you and why it's so important? Yeah, absolutely. It's why I teach at Northwood, right? Uh, quite frankly, Northwood is America's free enterprise university, plain and simple. We teach business from that perspective. And why is that important? And what, and what is free enterprise? Well, free enterprise is that you, you're getting into business and you're doing it with limited government involvement. And it's in an open market situation where I make a product and I've got to convince that the customer to buy my product because it's better, it's got better quality, maybe the price is right. Um, and the reason I love it is because I've been able to enjoy it. I, my life is better because I've been able to grow up in a free market. All those companies I worked for, I chose to go work for those companies. Nobody said, your skill set is X and you're gonna go work over here and this is what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. 
right? I went to Bilmar, I went to Comerica, I went to Med Audit, I went to Packaging Direct. Those are all my choices. Um, free enterprise is also about personal responsibility. Uh, I don't expect the government to do things for me. I don't expect other people to do things for me, right? I build my skill set. I put myself in a position. I build relationships, and and from all those things, um, you know, we we can do what we want. We can build a product and make a product or provide a service that we want. And you know what? Who's going to decide whether you're successful is the marketplace, right? Yeah. If I understand what the customer wants and I give it to them, I will be successful. If I don't. I won't, right? And so I better go figure something else out. Yeah. Um, and, and I could say I've been lucky, but I don't think that's that's necessarily the truth. It's not about luck; it, it's about learning and understanding and bringing those products. the The guy who started Packaging Direct was phenomenal at thermoforming, but he also understood the marketplace. He was the he was the creator of the party platter, right? Everybody at some point bought a party platter with the veggies and the fruit in it, right? This guy created. Yeah. But he, okay. he sat in his house and he went, "What would be awesome to have?" To his customers, his customers out east said, "Man, it'd be great if we could go into Stop and Shop with a with a product that would do this." And he said, "Okay," and he made it right, and and it was our best product, and we sold in 43 states, Canada, Mexico, and the Virgin Islands, out of a little town of Beaverton and Gladwin, Michigan. Right? We had we had national reach. From an area that you wouldn't expect to have national reach, and it's because we made a product that the customer needed and wanted. That's what free enterprise is. Uh, there's a lot more to free enterprise, but to me, that's what free enterprise is. It allows me to 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 control my destiny, right? Uh, but I have to understand the market because if I don't understand yeah. the market, it doesn't matter. Um, and so, to, to me, that's what free enterprise is. That's what Northwood's all about. That's why I love it there. Um, I'm, awesome. I'm I'm able to teach from that perspective. Because uh, that's how I learned, and I, I think that's what makes us unique. Uh, and I'm just gonna say it makes us awesome. Because <laughs> because it does. It, it's a great perspective to look at business from.